Hello everyone and welcome. Today is, as I'm starting this video, January 28th. Yes, 28th, it's Sunday still. And I just want to kind of film in here where I'm starting. And since last time we stitched with you, I showed you how many threads how many threads I have in here it's a huge huge amount of threads like almost 60 was 53 I think in this one in, in this longer threads so I'm going to start right now so I can catch up a little bit and make some progress usually I will start from this kind of go away up there so I might will start from the bottom and just go up 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 and then we'll see if I can manage to actually finish all the threads before Wednesday arrive so yeah I read your comments prediction when you think I can finish this frame oh some of you brave <laughs> some of you say five six weeks mm -hmm. okay so we already week number two count and now and I better hurry up right all right, I see you a little bit later with a little bit more progress and then I pick something good chunk of colors to stitch with you together so we stay kind of on one spot without moving camera too much. It is Tuesday now, 30th of January and I am really kind of in a hurry to try to record this video. Not sure how this is going to go. Uh, my puppy not sleeping yet. But I just want to apologize that if I say something not right, uh, I'm under very strong medication pill right now. That I'm kind of feel drowsy and I thought I have a more time. But instead of Tylenol, I didn't know my husband gave me stronger pill, um, my back is really bad and I'm going to a hospital tomorrow on Wednesday so I don't know if I will have a how I going to feel if I have a time to record this whip and chat right on Wednesday to upload so um, this video probably going to be a little bit shorter but please forgive me what happened probably again that I lifted puppy too too much and I don't know it's just very very <laughs> bad my back right now and I have to go and check um, so yes that that's what happening and for the cross stitch let me just readjust a little bit in here so I can reach so if you remember I had 53 long threads and I think 12 or 15 short one so I was stitching that and from this 53 threads I stitched 30 so now I have a 23 left and on the end of this video I will show you what progress that would give me and maybe I can manage to stitch a little bit more we'll see if I feel better a little bit later on because thanks to this program that I use right now I upload video pretty fast so I'm not worried about that anymore so if I feel a little bit better later maybe even we will stitch a little bit more maybe not I don't know but that that's the situation I am right now so I'm just going to stitch a little bit and hopefully Papa will stay quiet um, these days I receive lots of packages to review and I have them all over my house and um, I tried to record one video today but the, I was in so much pain that I just laid down basically I spent all day laying on the sofa and I'm just going to record right now video for this 23 minutes and that's it so maybe some other time we will do video a little bit longer but I am loving what I'm doing, you know, at this cross stitch really I want to finish this design 
because it's going to be my first the biggest design finish and when you look in a so close to this finish touches right you want to kind of stitch even more and um, to finish sooner but it's going to take a couple more months to do that uh, yes it is beautiful if some of you don't have this canvas yet European town or green village as our original design I think you definitely should have one and it's just a lots of hours of pleasant stitching so easy to stitch no confetti yes uh, lots of backstitch but if you do as you go little by little it's not that bad it's just I'm leaving a, like the whole frame without because I want to as I'm recording I want you to see from before and after you know if I would be just stitching by myself I would definitely probably go little by little backstitch um, and that wouldn't be as much as like on the end but some frame has more backstitch some less after all I'm enjoying every little thing that I'm stitching this canvas it really really awesome if I um, feel a little bit better later hopefully like this looks like that pill is kicking up right now to me and I took maybe like two hours ago um, so right now I'm kind of lightheaded and drowsy but if I feel better later on I will try to record maybe one more video so you will have two video on Wednesdays I'm not sure because I do have some diamond paintings that I wanted to share with you and I believe I've received today canvas from good deals I didn't check like I don't have uh, truck and number and I did not open package yet because my son just brought me today by but uh, by the look of the package it looks like it could be from good deals and you know what I'm waiting right if you follow me all the time that I'm waiting a full crystal diamond painting in square diamonds oh I cannot wait to see that but I want to open the package together with you I don't want to pick a boo so <laughs> it's kind of really make me feel like you know I want to see it right now but at the same time I'm just trying today this first video see if I can even record or I can see it uh, you know uh, I do have problems with my back for a while I do have a damaged spine that I don't know when I did the damage there's a few <laughs> different accidents I have in my life that my spine could be damaged one of them was when I was very very little uh, in my village I was running across the road and bicycle hit me not bicycle motorcycle uh, but it feels like I was fine after that I, I'm not sure if I was even in the hospital or not I don't remember I don't remember um, another accident was in Ukraine when I was teenager I fell off the tree right on a on my back I got the wind out of me and I was flying through the black tunnel for a very very long time it happened only seconds you know when you fallen from the tree on the ground but I feel like I was going through the tunnel for a very very long time and I hit my back very badly and then after the year in Canada I slipped twice on a staircase and went for a ride on my back uh, yeah so I don't know at some point I damaged my back and now if I overdo or something it really hurt me and I noticed that twice already after I washed my puppies um, when I bend over too long, it start my back hurting. So 
when I wash my puppies, it kind of, this is second time it happened after I give them bath. So I don't know, being too long over them and lifting them, and I was lifting them a lot because I love them so much, I want to snuggle with them as much as possible. So yes, that doesn't help, they keep picking them up all the time. And uh, yeah, so, or I stretch, pinch some muscle nerve uh, by lifting them, or did I displace like my, like a disc, spinal disc or something, I don't know. So I will go to the, I will do some, my husband called today, our family doctor, and he suggested to go to the hospital, not in my city, but next to our city, because up there a line usually much shorter and not so many hours to wait because in here sometimes could be stay in line like for eight hours it's so busy here ridiculous so we'll see we'll go do x-ray and not sure what's gonna happen but I didn't tell you but I'm suffering this already from maybe three four days and it's getting worse and worse so yeah this morning I wake up I barely could even talk it was so painful to move around that <laughs> when I prepare my stuff to record video unboxing I literally was in tears and thought okay you going to hear my voice and it's not the way I want to do my video so I decided just wait so now uh, oh, right now I'm just trying to well, oh my husband coming back I have to pause this video and come back maybe later million years later no it's maybe like three hours later I took already a nap um, you will hear puppy in the background they munching on a treat I cannot wait till they fall asleep because they just kind of wake up because I was napping so they were napping but I have to say the pill a little bit kick in and help me so when I wake up I feel a little bit better so I thought okay that's <laughs> that's great we can finish a little bit this video I'm so sorry for being such a drama queen in here but oh boy that is not something pleasant that I want to go through again so how is everybody doing now are you stitching with me or diamond painting I'm actually planning to diamond paint tonight if I will still feel all right and can handle it I want to diamond paint because it would be nice if I could finish or at least do half of diamond painting the crystal before I do a review so we can see actually uh, how the other one look like right so that's kind of and I had feeling that I will receive the package because I was really kind of thinking about that I should finish finish and I was going to do this today all day long I was going to diamond paint and I didn't do ba basically nothing yeah spend day and the sofa snuggling because my puppy have to watch me um, yeah so also I received today a half kind of the well no it's kind of like but let's consider package <laughs> I made an order for two videos and they shipped me in three different packages so one of the packages show up today and it's only two cross stitch kits so I don't know I'm going to wait probably to my next package so I can have a little bit product from there to kind of create at least one normal video not just a two cross stitch because besides that I have many other packages to review so that's okay I will I will do review first that um, 
already stays in my room for a few days you know some of the packages that i've reviewed for you like i've received a long time ago right but because i uh, very often i have packaged like for four or five videos so um, i have one package that i order from like before christmas and i'm still have uh, one more video to create but i already have like four other videos on my channel so sounds like oh i've received just now no that i've received a package long time ago it's just a certain product i keep in like for later to review so my puppy munchin and a treat a uh, very good treat like it's a thin sticks but very chewy so they like to munch on them but they can't eat them too quick so if i want to have like a peaceful time for a long time that the treats i go for give it to them and they kind of quiet um the only thing that's making a noise is with the uh, treats knocking on the floor but just forgive them today uh, my husband took today two puppies to one lady she wanted to see but she kind of didn't have a time to come to us so we took two puppy to her and I well my husband took so she's still thinking if she wants to or not because she already have one dog at home uh, and while only puppy with orange color which is my super favorite one that choose me uh, he was kind of confused where is everybody so he was playing very nice by himself nobody attack nobody bark nobody <laughs> chewing on each other so he was very nice but i have to say the body father he was confused more where is it that he took two puppies and walk away on a truck with them you know he was kind of not happy i would say yeah he was wondering where those kids go okay i will show you on the very end how much progress look like uh, maybe before i finish this video oh puppy he lost his treat behind the board or something. Knocking him. Maybe before I finish this video, I'm still going to stitch a few more stitches. Um, at least, like, I have in here on this side kind of three. Maybe I will do them and then show you the end. I'm not sure. It all depends how, how good puppy behave or not. If I can able to record more video or not this is very dark uh, color usually it's go like inside of the windows to pretend dark window glass when it's nobody home so that's the part but uh, what is it doing in here why it's in the bottom I know here's something I'm not sure I'm not sure what's in here I guess I will stick with this um, technique that I'm doing. I really like this and I do much quicker this way. Like after I finish this another 23 colors, I will park again a whole bunch of colors. Maybe not as much, right? But at least like Ten threads or so and try to finish them 
so I could finish this way canvas faster everybody's waiting for ambulate but you know what um, you can start because I already have uh, two videos that I stitch with you ambulate so I already finished the kind of like a, a road up there not finished but have a good chunk if you watch my whips and uh, for 2023 right so uh, I have a road up there done good chunk and I started from my right bottom corner on a canvas so if you want to catch up with me and stitch that point that I'm stitched already and then we can continue together with you that would be awesome yes so keep stitching okay. I hope you're okay with those noises because I know puppy could be loud at least they're not fighting yet Sometimes they fight over one treat. Shadow next to me, sleeping. He used to love, maybe it maybe depends where I record video, I don't know. Because it used to be, as soon as I start my video, he would come and meow. Today? No. So I don't know what's up with him. Okay, I will move cam, I mean my frame towards me a little bit and camera backwards because I have chunk in here that is kind of long way but you know what I will I will do this jump now and I will I will over stitch that thread later because I have kind of almost nothing stitching here besides this uh, bright pink so that's okay I will try to hide that stitches later Okay, I just don't want to, f I don't want to stop my thread now, it's a little bit left in here. By the way, I already started my new start, I just need to record video about it. And that is my spring brand, I, I put some few stitches, didn't have a chance to stitch more but consider that's a new and I already added them to my uh, cross stitch wheel spinner wheel not the cross stitch wheel Sp to my spinner at the same time uh, people ask me how I organize and how do I know what I stitch, what I'm not stitching, what do I have? Well, all of my cross stitch design in my spinning wheel. So that way at least I know the name and how many I have. And then I just pick a rotation or I can spin by playing a game and stitch. Or I can pick something that I really, really, really want to stitch. Or something that I really would love to finish first that I picked the design. Or just like I did rotation for the four seasons. So kind of winter season. Not exactly all designs. Winter because I didn't have too many winter designs. But I mean I pick certain design for each season to stitch and make some progress. And every season we finish something little so that that's kind of how and i would love to get shorter on those projects and get and have less of them but at the same time i always start something new and lately unfortunately or fortunately i don't know i keep starting on something huge all my canvases that i started lately they are huge canvases i don't know what i'm thinking about why do I do that? I just love big canvases to stitch, you know? It's like this one. You stitch one and you have a piece of art. And a mix of every other little one that we have <laughs> already stitched. Okay. My needle get here where... Oh! puppy trying to show a teeth up there no barking hey eh? no fighting all of you have a same treat 
unless one lasted his on their sheet maybe don't see and trying to steal from another one let me just pick a book quickly see what's going on up there okay all of you have your own copy here's your treat right in here here you have your own no they all have their own treats so i don't know why they getting grouchy Okay, so the time you're watching this video, I can't believe it's going to be already last day of January. One more month and it's going to be springtime. Oh my god, that's exciting. I just now kind of think about it. I miss spring. Oh, I miss summer anyway. Spring is just a jump. It's just kind of like a mark. That's it. Winter's over, you know could be very late spring who knows but that's exciting isn't it to think that it's last months left of the winter I didn't do much good job with the winter project for this uh, season I have to say yeah I will remember for next year that after Christmas and New Year it's actually not good to plan something like this in the beginning of December because it don't work for me I better do like a beginning of the year that would be more appropriate kind of plan mm, yeah but anyway this is the last one season that kind of we are doing a complexion com no, complete and yeah Okay, let me finish this thread now here. One, it's getting like water. Where's my scissors? Not even tail and make me. Just for security purpose, I will do one more time. Okay, and I will cut my thread on the other side with my super tool. This is my favorite tool to cut threads under the canvas. Yes, it's the best. Okay, so uh, since my puppy is not as bad behaving yet, maybe what kind of is it squares what kind of is this one hold on let me see what kind of what kind of symbol under this one brown oh it's an orange circle okay maybe we should stitch a little bit of this circle so now i have 20, 22 threads well together with this one because we have to start all the threads are alone just the part okay so we're gonna do this orange circles I'm not sure how we're gonna go here because the way they distributed kind of in here I didn't figure out yet where I will go to pick up kind of beginning so let's see if I if I go here around maybe in a circle then go up or no I will go here go here here go back close here then go here to the top and then go this way maybe okay let's try <laughs> I'm trying to do as best as possible for me to to kind of go okay so I will close this one in here have to find a way what's the best to get to this stitches not to come back to them anymore so I will pick this one so my stretches on the back of the canvas not so long Um, 
maybe I will get this one. Make as a full stitch now. I'm sorry for those noises in the back. I'm really worried that it's bothering you. Even you t told me already many times that it's it's okay. By the way, talking about puppy, I'm so grateful. So many of you subscribe to my puppy channel. When I ask you that we need only so little uh, to reach to 1k subscribers, um, we got like over what I needed. It's like uh, almost 200 people subscribe, no, like 100 something. Let me check like right now how many, how many we still need subscribers so that I can monetize that channel. That would help me a little bit. Uh, money wise to get extra for puppy toys and treats you know even sometimes wet bills it's all help so now I have 858 subscribers oh my goodness it's only left 142 wow thank you so much everyone who subscribed to my golden life of body and daisy channel I have lots of cute videos up there and uh, video, actual video I uploaded up there kind of long time ago but um, more often I upload shorts so when you go to my channel and click on the shorts you will see a whole bunch of short video cuteness what we do with puppies now of course it's only three of them but I have some short videos I have to kind of put maybe them together for the a longer video most of the people right now still watching that I uploaded video about skunk that we rescue and lots of people kind of don't pay attention what I mentioned in my other videos that we have only uh, the little skunk for three days and that was like two or three years ago not like now but I never uploaded this video before uh, and I upload it now and people think it's like a recent video give me some suggestions what to do or what not to do some of them like not happy with me because I have rescue skunk I should have my own business and just leave him to die uh, well not exactly like this but why would I um, took him in a house instead of just leaving a nest well his siblings didn't survive because that's what society rescue told them not to touch it and this little guy he came to my husband and just because he came out of the nest he survived because I could take care of him for three days wasn't enough but three days saved his life because he was so hungry, he was starving, he didn't eat for a few days because we didn't know when his mama disappeared. She probably got killed or something because lots of baby in the nest was already, didn't breathe. So yeah, that video still people watching, very like the most popular video on my channel, so if you want to see little skunky story it's like a few broken videos I posted up there I thought it was cute but I didn't think that's going to be so viral yeah unfortunately in Canada we cannot uh, de-skunk them and we cannot keep them as a pet I know in the States few people told me then it's okay you can keep it and it depends where you are uh, but you know what that's um, like in here in Canada no uh, vet would discount them because they're not allowed if they don't want to lose their job you know uh, so plus I didn't want it to go against the law so 
for me was just good enough to give him a survival survivor kit you know what I was feeding him with and he got stronger and after three days we took him well no the company came and took him uh, reunited him with his siblings that took him uh, take the siblings earlier and they will teach them up there have to provide food for themselves which is interesting because when I had him I already searched lots of YouTube videos and research how to teach a little skunk to hunt for themselves to provide you literally have to put like in a sand box with sand to create and hide some bugs up there so they can dig and try to find their own food then kind of they they learn how to stump their feet which this little one already learned uh, he was making a funky noises towards me and kind of like a jumping that was so cute but he did not know yet how to spray and that was just like way too young age for him to do that anyway uh, but that was cute i don't know why i've talked about this for so long we are speech well some kind of story we need to talk about right that was the cutest story ever. I always wanted to rescue or like, or skunk or raccoon or squirrel, but didn't have a chance because they, even they squirrel lived under my roof for a long time. Uh, they all were healthy with mama jumping all over my window. Papi would entertain themselves watching them every day. So yeah. That was a cute story. So if any of you still would love to subscribe to my channel, more than welcome to, to help us reach to this 1,000 subscribers. Can you hear the munch noises? How they chewing on the bones? Or oh, that's too far away for you? <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, my camera already stopped. So I guess we'll create a little bit longer video. Even I didn't plan to create longer, but you know what? I'm feeling a little bit better, so why not? At least I can sit now. This side uh, on the right from me, it's like such a heavy frame because this big roll with the, um, uh, with the like stitched already, it's look, it feels heavy with all those threads. And now like my um, book with the threads, it's getting like skinnier, skinnier, so lighter before like I, I could barely close that book with so much threads and now it's getting to the happy end and it's almost empty well it's not empty i think i will have lots of threads left but um some of the threads like just the one left but it's already finished in this frame and when i unroll to uh, park them on my empty space i did not see the symbol anymore so uh, lots of those numbers already done completely which is good okay what i will do in here i will create this couple stitches full stitch in here and then from here i will go and to my left in half stitches in here and then i come back and jump into this portion because this is only like one line in here and from here i can go from here from here 
and jump further so i think that's what i will do i just need to make sure we are in the camera and have a light <clears throat> My phone was no, I, I mute my phone, it's my iPad making the noises. My son yesterday uh, purchased his new iPad notebook or not notebook, like iPad, uh, beautiful purple color, new one. So his old one not the ipad but like before before he had his um, samsung and what i wanted to do like last year i would uh, he didn't want to use anymore so i took a last year and i would use at the campground to play games you know just downloaded a few games if i bored to use that old one samsung instead of using my ipad uh, so I tried to download few programs uh, to use like as like a pattern keeper. I want to download. It feels like downloaded. Um, they give you like a 30 days. I think it's a free program to use it to see if you like it or not. But uh, you know, I try to download PDF file to see how it works with this program. And for some reason, or it's not loading or just like it's such an old maybe I wouldn't say that Samsung is very old but I guess old enough that can handle a PDF file for me to try it because I thought if it's worked perfectly fine I can buy pattern, uh, uh, pattern keeper that everybody using for PDF file uh, so I can stitch designs but not only that, I can figure out, maybe somebody of you help me. Okay, puppy. Oh, they get loud. Um, I don't know how can I share. See, I'm not very great with this technology. How to get my design that on my computer file to download, to share kind of to my Samsung. I don't know. <laughs> have to do that i try and doesn't work my son even tried to help me it didn't work oh i have a few of this symbol uh, right in here look on this window okay i have to lift it up my camera a little bit okay see like i have a few in this window i might have to jump to here because i don't have no up there Okay, never mind. Never mind. We will stitch this one. And I might have to stop because puppy getting loud. I need to let them out to run around the house a little bit. So far they behaving very good. But they need to exercise. I'm not going to lift them for now, that's for sure. I'm going to ask Catherine to help me. Well, when I kind of open door to that pen where they are. Some of them jump away very quickly and some of them kind of afraid to jump. So I kind of need the help. But if I go in a kitchen and don't see them, they jump over, they climb over the pen and jump from the high. So I don't get it. Have they afraid to go from a lower point, but they okay from the top. It's like a wall climbers yeah okay my friends i think i will finish now i'm gonna let puppy play but you know what just um maybe i'm going to show you what i stitched so far just whatever i have i know i still have a 22 21 threads in here not finished and i basically didn't even plan to finish them i told you we're going to stitch together which is we are but maybe during this week of course i will finish them but for now i want to show you how much i stitch so give me a sec 
So from front, we're not going to see much how much I stitch, but from this side, you can see that I did good progress just by working with those park threads that I have. I did good chunk on the top already, and I did lots, you know, continuous because where it was frame stitch, it was like somewhere in here. So all this kind of side, that's what already stitch kind of from here, right? So that's a good chunk already stitched. Not sure how many stitches, but my puppy getting louder. From front, we're not going to see much, so I'm not going to even show you. But I will see you next Wednesday with this one. I have to run, my puppy getting loud. <laughs>